in the past we thought Solon Vaux might have an end. It was designed, I think, for 25 years, and those 25 years have come and gone. I'm an engineer, and engineers enjoy equipment. <laughs> you know, I like, I like seeing cranes and, and pumps and turbines and pipes. You can actually go out on the site, you can see the work, the project you're managing, or the, the overhaul you're trying to do on a pump, or the piece of fabric maintenance you're doing, or whatever it is. And it, it offers people fantastic experience. The investment that we're going to place in Solon Vaux is going to be large, and it's going to last a long time which means lots of equipment, lots of projects, lots of engineering. This isn't a big flurry of activity for three or six months. It's not you know, swarming hundreds of people onto the site that, that come and go away very quickly. I can see the place being kind of fairly ever-changing, at least the next couple of decades. It's got a huge future, probably longer than many other place I can think of. So the job we've got now is to look forward and say, well, what does Solomon need to look like? And that involves a lot, of, a lot of investment, it involves a lot of people, it involves lots of scaffolding. You'll see many of BP's senior managers come here. And the reason for that is very simple. It's because they care, and they care because it's strategic. I'll promote and create and develop the best leadership I can here to make sure we bring in teamwork, that we have people working with each other, a great team spirit, great cooperation, and ultimately leads to enjoyment of work. What I stand for as a leader is for people to be fulfilled, which means they drive home feeling that they've actually contributed, feeling good about themselves actually, they've made a difference, something's changed, you know, their work was good.